Hey everybody, Black Ninja 797 here, and welcome back to another episode of Myth Busting Mondays. In today's episode, we're going to be covering a very interesting set of myths, but the final myth is going to be very, very unique because it revolves around a loading screen, and it's about Coldstream's loading screen. Because in Coldstream, when it comes to that particular loading screen, it does not have any special quote. Normally, with Left 4 Dead loading screens, they have some sort of cheesy movie quote. And Coldstream does not actually, is the only map that does not have one on its loading screen. But however though, I want to put that to the test. I'm going to be putting a variety of different tests on that said loading screen and seeing if whether or not that there was a hidden loading screen quote that just ended up getting scrapped and maybe was left in the PNG or the JPEG. So that is going to be the final myth of today's episode. If you guys end up enjoying today's video and you want to see more episodes of Myth Busting Mondays in the future, as always, please show your guys support by dropping a like, comment, subscribe, and all the beautiful stuff. And if there's any particular myth that you want to see in next week's episode, just leave it in the comment section down below. But anyways, guys, let's get on with this week's episode of Myth Busting Mondays. Myth. Does the fire on Dead Center kill you faster than any other fire? Alrighty guys, so we are on the very first chapter of Dead Center, and we all know that by now there's fire on Dead Center due to the fact that is just a part of the dynamic event theme of the map. So what we're going to do is we're going to go in the fire right now, and we're just going to be just calculating how fast that this can kill us. Because then what we'll do is we're going to take the other fires in the game, such as the ones from the Molotov and the one from the gas cans, we're just going to see what kills us. So now we see what the base speed is, now let's switch over to a different set of fire. Alrighty guys, so we just respawned and now I'm going to be using the console commands to end up spawning in a Molotov for myself and I'm just going to throw it at my feet and we're just going to be seeing how fast this can kill me. And I can just tell you guys this already, without even questioning it, there's already a super, super big difference between the fire from the Molotov and the fire from the dead center building. In fact, actually, if you take a look at this, the Molotov actually will run out before it can kill me. I'm doing this on easy mode, by the way, for both of these game modes. So it's just to let you know that it's not going to be different. And I'm not trying to change the game. But it looks like that the fire from the Molotov can't kill me nearly as quick. And now we're going to be going to the Parish really quickly. And I'm going to get a gasoline can in survival. I'm just going to shoot this and have it also set fire. And we're just going to be seeing how fast this will light me on fire. So let's shoot it. And we're going to see. And it looks like that based off of what I'm seeing on the screen with my eyes. Instead of doing nanoseconds with like a clock or something. I can just tell you this by looking at it. That the fire of the Molotov and the gas can are almost identical. And it actually once again just like the Molotov was not able to kill me. So yes this myth is confirmed. The fire on dead center will kill you much faster than any other fire will in the whole entire game. And just off an educational guess I could also assume that this goes for just any other natural fire versus the artificial fires in the game. Myth. Can you destroy a tank rock with a melee weapon? Alrighty guys, so we are on the last stand finale here and I have spawned in a tank and I also have a unlimited ammo chainsaw. And the way that I wanted to do this myth was with the chainsaw because the chainsaw is technically a melee weapon even though it is very special in the melee class. The way you can think about it is that by having the trigger being held down and the chainsaw constantly being ready, it's almost as if that it's like a pre-swung melee weapon for the other ones. So that is why I wanted to do this because this would probably be the best melee weapon for testing this exact myth. So right now what I'm trying to do is I'm just trying to get the tank to throw a rock at me, but uh, he wants to just run up and charge me because of the fact that he's super close. But luckily I close enough distance and now I'm starting to be able to hit the rock with the chainsaw. Or more rather, I'm able to hit it with my body because the rock is not destroying. Because when you destroy a rock, it's meant as a defense tactic, so that way it's not supposed to hit you. So because of the fact that even though I have God Mode on, the fact that my character is flinching means that I was indeed hit by the rock and that it wasn't broken down before it got to me. And as you can see is that he's throwing several rocks at me and I'm holding down this chainsaw and it's just pre-ready to go. So it's not like I'm missing or anything. It's just that the chainsaw isn't able to break the rocks, which, you know, in reality does make a lot of sense, but since you can't shoot them, I always just thought it would make sense that you could also melee them. I just never, you know, tested until now. But, uh, yeah, no matter how close I get, and no matter whether or not that I'm, like, trying to get, like, a certain circumstance going, I just can't seem to destroy this thing. So, unfortunately, that means that this myth is busted. You can't end up destroying a rock by a tank with a melee weapon. Myth. 
does the last stand have a second end cutscene? Alrighty guys, so what you are seeing is gameplay on my very first attempt of The Last Stand from right around this time last year. And when it comes to The Last Stand, we are all familiar with the end cutscene. It's normally like this, where it's going to be a camera view of it zooming out and shows the boat taking off. While it slowly but surely goes up the mountain here and ends up showing the lighthouse. But did you know that when you play The Last Stand in very specific niche circumstances, you can actually end up getting a different end cutscene? This camera view is going to be showing the boat taking off still, but in a different direction, and it's going up the mountain and almost kind of like a first person perspective, and then shows the lighthouse in this manner as if you're still on top of the island. It's a slightly different cinematic view, but it's the only difference is this you simply are just going about the camera work differently and i think that that's cool it's a nice little touch because all the other maps have preset cutscenes and they'll never change but the last stand is unique and that actually has more than one so this myth is confirmed guys i kind of already knew this it's just that i wasn't really sure how to incorporate it in a video so i thought i kind of do it as a fact type of style myth in myth busting mondays myth can you beat the parish finale in under two minutes Alrighty guys, so in a previous episode of Myth Busting Mondays, I decided to test a myth about whether or not that you could complete the Last Stand campaign in under 10 minutes because there is an achievement for completing it actually under 13 minutes. There is a very similar achievement for the Parish Finale, it's called Bridge Over Troubled Slaughtered, and basically it's that if you can complete the Parish Finale in under 3 minutes, you end up getting that exact achievement. And so I wanted to see if, similar to the Last Stand myth, if you can end up beating this faster. So what I decided to do is I load up into the parish finale and as soon as the bridge dropped and I had the ability to run, I started a timer for two minutes. And I also ended up disabling the bots and the director so that way it was just solely on me and that this would be the fictional best circumstances possible so that way it'd be the best case scenario. So I end up getting to the rescue here. And since I also put this in fast motion for the sake of the video so that way it wasn't too long, I will just tell you guys my results and you can test this yourselves if you don't happen to believe me or if you just want to end up just doing it for funsies but my results believe it or not was that yes this very myth is confirmed because my timing was actually just under two minutes at one minute and 57 seconds i wasn't doing like milliseconds or anything but i put just simply a clock on my google mini and all i did was just you know tell it to put an alarm for two minutes and i forgot about it honestly and it actually went off after I had the cutscene playing, which means that I managed to get it done in under two minutes because it started the moment that the bridge was actually starting to drop. So I actually, funnily enough, started it just like a second or two earlier before I was even supposed to go. So I actually thought that I was going to have less time, but in reality, I had more time. So it's probably more like a minute and 55, but I'm just going to tell you guys that what my results were, despite the little hiccup there, which was one minute and 57 seconds. Alrighty guys, so now we are down to our final myth, the epic badass myth of today's episode, and we're going to be seeing if we can figure out if there's a secret hidden quote for the Coldstream loading screen, because Coldstream is one of my personal favorite maps, and I just find it very interesting how it is still to this day the only one that does not have a cheesy a little quote on its loading screen. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go into Photoshop, and I'm going to be taking a look at the loading screen and putting some editing tools such as brightness and then also the zoom tool to see if we can find anything. Now keep in mind is that I am not using a Google JPEG or PNG of just looking it up because those could be modified and might end up removing possible uh, ways of seeing anything in the loading screen itself. So what I'm going to do is that I just simply recorded my screen with my stream labs and then I just hit the print screen button and then I put that very image inside of Photoshop. So that should be the most fair image, and that's what we're going to be taking a look at here today. Myth. Does the Coldstream loading screen have a secret hidden quote? Alrighty guys, so we are in my Photoshop software, and I'm going to be pasting the PNG of Coldstream's loading screen in here. Keep in mind that once again, this is a print screen of just what I had in my recording, which means that this isn't modified in Google Images by somebody else. And so what I want to do to test this is I'm going to first turn up the brightness by end up using a brightness tool. 
so that way we can end up getting anything that might be uh, in the dark and kind of actually blurred away. And then in addition to that, I'm going to be using a zoom tool so that way I can end up making the image a lot more uh, easy to see and that way it's like down to the pixels so that way we can be able to see every little nook and cranny of this thing and see if there's any little hidden item in it because the text on the screen can be sometimes very hard to read because it's naturally meant to just be there for filler rather than actual reading purposes and so if we zoom this in and clear it up a little bit it should therefore be legible and I'm just looking at every little pixel. I'm not going to let anything skate by me. I'm going to be taking a look at everything. Because remember, we're looking for something that's supposed to be hidden, so it's not going to be very easy. And yes, this does look blurry. And yes, this does look pixelated. And that is probably the point, because if there was any hidden quote for whatever reason, and they either forgot it, or they just for whatever reason didn't want to have one, and it was in here, it would probably want to be hidden because otherwise then it would technically have a quote. But I can just tell you this so far is that even if it was in here, there's some stuff that in here, like I would not even be legitimately able to tell if it's a quote because to me, even though I have pretty good eyesight, it does just happen to look like pixels. I see obviously the blatant things such as the, uh, the loading screen half, that it's saying cold stream, it's saying me and the bot's names. I even see the little uh, nano things such as Valve's name at the bottom, but anything hidden in this so far, I can't find it. And I looked everywhere, and I'm pretty sure there's some other tools that you could theoretically use, but I'm not necessarily, believe it or not, the best Photoshop person in the world. I'd say I'm pretty good. I'm not terrible. I'm not great either. I'm actually average. And I don't see anything. With the tools that I used, which was mostly just the brightness and the zoom feature, because I don't know what else you could really use without modifying the image from its original base form and then making it look like it's fake. Uh, but yeah, I just can't find anything. So sadly, that does mean that this myth is busted and that Cold Stream still does not have a unique loading screen quote. But however though, the map is more unique still because the fact that it doesn't have one. So that is a plus. And I still like Coldstream regardless, but it would be kind of cool if it did have its own cheesy little quote, because that's just a little attention to detail that I like. By the way, guys, just out of curiosity, in the comment section down below, if you were to make a quote for Coldstream's loading screen yourself, what would it be? Because I just want to know what some of the people in the community might think, so that way we can have kind of one in spirit form. So yeah, let me know what you think, and uh, yeah. So yeah, guys, that's going to be another episode of Myth Busting Mondays. I do hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode, and I hope that this makes your Mondays just a little bit better. And if you guys end up enjoying today's video and you want to see more Myth Busting Mondays episodes in the future, please, as always, show your guys' support by dropping a like, comment, subscribe, and all that beautiful stuff. If you guys would like to financially support the channel, I would definitely appreciate if you guys could go check out my Patreon. It's always linked down below in my YouTube video descriptions. Or you guys can use supporter creator code Black Ninja 797 in all caps in the Fortnite Epic Games item shops because that is very much appreciated because Epic's my very first sponsor and they're sponsoring today's video, so shout out to Epic Games. By the way, guys, before we do wrap today's video up officially, I just wanted to mention one last thing, and it's a big request for you guys. Now, this is going to be something that's revolving around my Twitch channel, so let me explain. Basically, today, as of recording this video, which is September the 26th, I ended up having a little bit of a hiccup with my Twitch channel. Basically what ended up happening was is that with a new software that I got yesterday, I ended up trying to remove a whole bunch of follow bots from my channel. For those of you guys that don't know what a follow bot is, basically it's a computer that sends a whole bunch of fake accounts your way to follow your channel to end up making it look like that you're more popular than you actually are. And unfortunately what this does is that this causes Twitch to get suspicious of you even if it wasn't your fault and end up making your account end up getting in trouble. So I didn't want to do that. So what I decided to do is end up using the software that was recommended to me by one of you guys to end up removing them. I ended up doing this yesterday and it worked. But however though when I did this today it unfortunately removed actually some of my real followers alongside the bots. So now I went from 258 followers on Twitch to 172 followers on Twitch. I did try to reverse the damage the best that I could, but unfortunately some of you guys did get removed. So if you do happen to watch me on Twitch, I would recommend that you guys quickly check my channel after this video to see if it ends up having you kicked or if you're still following or not. If you happen to be removed, I do apologize and I would definitely appreciate if you guys could refollow. And if you guys do not happen to follow me on Twitch already, 
I would definitely really appreciate it if you guys could go check out my Twitch channel and follow it because I post a lot of content on there. You guys will get a definitely a big kick out of it. And I just want to end up getting my numbers back up. But of course, officially without end up using bots. It is no pressure by any means, but this is a big favor that I would definitely like to end up asking you guys because it really sucks to end up having such a drastic number go down. I've dealt with things like YouTube purges before, where for those of you guys that don't know what that is, it's basically YouTube doing the exact same thing, but they do it themselves. They just remove dead accounts from your channel. But uh, it does suck as a content creator to have that happen to you. So all I just ask is that if you guys want to end up being very, very kind and helpful, please check it out and look at my Twitch and maybe consider dropping it a follow. Uh, I don't necessarily try to peer pressure you guys, but it would mean a lot to me. So I just wanted to mention that before we wrap things up. But yeah, guys, I hope you end up enjoying another YouTube video for the most unique YouTuber you guys are ever going to see. Thank you for watching, guys. I love you and peace out. Hey, meme lords. Jesus here. And you better have enjoyed that video there by the eternal god Daddy Ninja. You should probably subscribe too. Or the mighty Moab will come for your balls. If you enjoyed the video, you might like it too. And give me the memes. Flash, bang, boom!